What would you do if you were a princess who spoke out against the injustices and oppression in your country? Would you risk your freedom and safety for the sake of truth and human rights? Would you endure torture and imprisonment for the sake of your principles? That is the fate that Princess Bashma bint Saud faced when she criticized the Saudi monarchy and its policies. This is the story of Princess Bashma bint Saud, a Saudi princess and human rights advocate who was arrested and jailed for nearly three years without charge or trial. It is a story of courage, defiance, suffering, and resilience. It is a story that exposes the dark side of the Saudi regime and its brutal crackdown on dissent. Princess Bashma bint Saud is the daughter of King Saud, who ruled Saudi Arabia from 1953 to 1964. She is also the granddaughter of King Abdulaziz, the founder of the modern Saudi state. She was born in 1964 and grew up in Riyadh, where she received a traditional education and learned about Islam and Arabic culture. She later moved to London, where she studied business administration and journalism. She also became interested in politics, human rights, and social issues. Princess Bashma was not an ordinary princess who lived a life of luxury and privilege. She was an outspoken critic of the Saudi monarchy and its policies, especially on women's rights, religious freedom, corruption, poverty, and foreign affairs. She wrote articles, gave interviews, and posted on social media, expressing her views and calling for reforms and democracy in Saudi Arabia. She also advocated for peace and dialogue in the Middle East, especially on the conflicts in Yemen, Syria, Iraq, and Palestine. Princess Bashma was not afraid to challenge the status quo and expose the hypocrisy and injustice of the Saudi regime. She also exposed her own family's involvement in corruption and abuse of power. She accused some of her relatives of stealing public funds, torturing political prisoners, supporting extremist groups, and plotting against each other. She also revealed that she had been harassed, threatened, and blackmailed by some of her family members who wanted to silence her. In March 2019, Princess Bashma was preparing to fly to Switzerland for medical treatment. She had been suffering from a rare blood disorder that required regular transfusions. She had also been diagnosed with breast cancer that needed surgery. She had booked a flight from Jeddah to Geneva with her daughter Suhoud al-Sharif, who was accompanying her. However, as they were about to board the plane, they were stopped by eight armed men who claimed to be security agents. They confiscated their passports and phones and took them away in a van. They were then taken to a high-security prison in Riyadh called al Hayir, where they were locked up in a cell without any contact with the outside world. No one knew what happened to them or why they were arrested. They were not charged with any crime or brought before any court. They were not allowed to see their lawyers or family members. They were not given any medical care or treatment for their conditions. They were subjected to torture and abuse by their captors. Their arrest shocked the world and sparked outrage among human rights activists and organizations. They demanded their immediate release and called for an international investigation into their case. They also condemned the Saudi regime for its violation of human rights and its repression of dissent. In April 2020, Princess Bashma managed to send a series of tweets from her prison cell using a smuggled phone. She appealed to King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to release her and her daughter on humanitarian grounds. She said that she had done nothing wrong and that she was facing very critical health issues. She also said that she feared for her life and that she was being held as a hostage. Her tweets caused a sensation on social media and drew attention to her plight. However, they were quickly deleted by the authorities who blocked her account. Her phone was also confiscated by her jailers who increased their pressure on her. Her plea fell on deaf ears as the Saudi regime ignored her request and continued to detain her without any explanation or justification. They also refused to respond to any inquiries or appeals from international bodies or human rights groups. After nearly three years of imprisonment without charge or trial, Princess Bashma and her daughter Suhud were finally released on January 6, 2022. They were allowed to return to their home in Jeddah, where they reunited with their family and friends. They also received medical attention and treatment for their conditions. Their release was announced by the ALQST for Human Rights, a Saudi rights group based in London. They said that the two women were released from their arbitrary imprisonment and that they were doing fine but will be seeking medical expertise. They also said that they were worn out but in good spirits. 
Their release was welcomed by human rights activists and organizations who celebrated their freedom and praised their courage. They also called for the release of other political prisoners and dissidents who are still languishing in Saudi jails. However, their release also raised questions about the reasons behind their arrest and detention. Why were they arrested in the first place? What were they accused of? Who ordered their arrest and who authorized their release? What did they have to endure during their imprisonment? What are the conditions of their release? Are they still under surveillance or restrictions? These questions remain unanswered, as the Saudi regime has not given any official statement or explanation about their case. They have also not apologized or compensated them for their ordeal. They have not admitted any wrongdoing or responsibility for their actions. The story of Princess Bashma bint Saud is a story of a princess who dared to speak out against the injustices and oppression in her country. It is a story of a princess who risked her freedom and safety for the sake of truth and human rights. It is a story of a princess who endured torture and imprisonment for the sake of her principles. It is also a story that exposes the dark side of the Saudi regime and its brutal crackdown on dissent. It is a story that reveals the hypocrisy and injustice of the Saudi monarchy and its policies. It is a story that challenges the image and reputation of the Saudi state and its leaders. What do you think of her story? Do you admire her or resent her? Do you think she did the right thing or the wrong thing? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Luxury Freaks for more amazing stories like this one. I would love to hear your opinions and suggestions for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Luxury Freaks.